Hi friends, welcome back. Today is our day three in Linux with the shell script. As part of today's session, we are going to understand how to work with directories in the Linux and how to work with files in the Linux. I connected with my Linux machine by using Git bash, which we are using as SSH client. So here, first thing, I'm executing ls command. ls command is used to list down the content available in present working directory. So when I execute ls command, I'm not getting any content, nothing but in the present working directory, nothing is available. I want to create one directory, mkdir directory name. So I'm giving the directory name as DevOps. Now execute ls command. Now you can see one directory is created with a name called DevOps. Similarly, let's make one more directory, AWS. So with this, we are able to understand how to create directories in the Linux machine. If you want to remove the directory, then we can use rmdir, AWS. rmdir command is used to remove the directory in the machine. If the directory is empty, then only we can remove that by using rmdir command. If you want to see the content with the long listing information, then we can use ls-l command. ls-l command will give you the complete information about the content available in the present working directory. Let me create some other directories also, mkdir, one, two, three. So like this, I have created multiple directories here. Then I have executed ls-l command. When you execute ls-l command, it will display the data in the alphabetical order. So if you execute this command, ls-lr, it will display the data in the descending order. In the reverse of alphabetical order, the content will be displayed. ls-l, which is used for long listing the content in the alphabetical order. ls-lr, which is used to display the data in the reverse of alphabetical order. Similarly, we can use ls-lt. When you use LT time based, it will display the latest content on the top, old content at the bottom. If you execute LS iPhone LTR, then it will display the old files at the top, then latest files it will display at the bottom. Similarly, if you execute LS iPhone LA command, it will display the hidden files also. LS iPhone L, LS iPhone LR, LS iPhone LT ls ltr ls la la command is used to display the hidden files also so what are the commands that we have used ls command which is used to list the content mkdir to create a directory directory nothing but a folder then rmdir command which is used to delete empty directory then ls command which is used for listing the content iphone l long listing with the alphabetical order ls lr reverse of alphabetical order ls lt display the latest files on the top ls ltr old files it will display on the top ls la it is going to display hidden files what is the meaning of hidden file any file which is starting with the dot we are calling it as a hidden file similarly how to create files in the linux machine to create files in the linux machine we can use a touch command, touch f1.txt, then ls-l, f1.txt file is created. So touch command is used to create one empty file, guys. Right? You can create multiple files at a time by using touch command, touch f2.txt, f3.txt, f4.txt. Then execute ls-l command, then it is displaying all the content which is available f1, f2, f3, f4, these are files we have created by using this touch command. Once the file is created, how to delete that file? To delete the file, we can use a command called rm command, rm space file name. So ls, iphone, l, all the content it is displaying. Now I want to delete a file, which is f4.txt, rm f4.txt. Then that file got deleted. Now we have only three text files. One file is deleted. Similarly, we can rename the file also. Okay. So if you see the file name is F3 available, I want to make it as F 
311.txt. I want to rename the file. To rename the file, we can use mv command. mv present name of the file, which is f3.txt, new name f311.txt. Then execute ls-l. So earlier the file name is f3. Now it got changed to f311.txt. For that, we are using mv command. By using this MV, we can rename the files and we can rename the directories also. And we can also use MV command for one more requirement. I want to move the file from one location to another location, move. So currently this file is available in my present working directory, which is easy to user directory. So from this location, I want to move this f311.txt file to DevOps directory. So how to move the file? So present, you can check it, ls-l devops. In the devops directly, in the devops directory, currently there is no content available. I want to move the file from present working directory to devops directory. For that, we can use mv space. What is the file name? That is f311.txt. I want to move that file to the devops directory. That's it. Now, execute ls -hyphen l earlier we have three files in the present working directory now we have only two files in the present working directory that means this f311.txt file is moved to devops directory how to check that file is available in the devops directory ls -hyphen l space devops now inside the devops directory this file is available so that means we can use mv command to rename the file and it is also used to move the file from one location to another location. So how we created the file in the Linux? We created a file by using touch command. Touch is used to create empty files in the Linux machine. And if you want to delete the files and non-empty directories, then we can use rm command. rm file name, file will be deleted. rm start.txt. I want to delete all the text files irrespective of the name. Name can be anything, start.txt. So if you want to delete the all the text files which are starting with the character A, if any file name is starting with A and if it is text file, then all those files I want to delete. If there is any directory available which contains the data, then we can use rm command to delete that particular directory. And the mv command we are using to rename the files and to move the file from one location to another location mv present name and new name mv present location and new location fine so currently the devops directory is having the content ls l space devops directory in that one file is available ls l now let me try to delete it rmdir devops it is not getting deleted the reason devops directory is not empty mkdir rmdir MKDIR used to make the directory, RMDIR used to remove the directory. But in this scenario, RMDIR is not working, is not working because this directory is not empty. Because this directory is not empty. How to delete this empty directory? RM space DevOps. Okay. So if you use RM space DevOps, is it a directory? It is asking. Then what we need to do? RM space iPhone RF space DevOps. Now, forcefully, we are going to delete this directory along with the content available in that directory. So R, F. R means recursive. F means forcefully. Inside this DevOps directory, whatever the content that is available, that content also we are going to delete along with this command. Are you clear with my point? Good. So we have seen how to create empty files, how to rename the files, and how to move the files from one location to another location. And similarly, here, we can use a command called cd command to change the directory, ls-l. Currently, we are in the ec2 user directory. Now, I want to go inside another directory. Okay, let me create mkdir ashok. I created one directory with a name called ashok. Then, go inside that directory, cd space ashok. cd is a command which is used to change the directory. So, currently, I am inside the ashok directory. Inside the Ashok directory, I can create some files. Touch command, f1.txt, f2.txt. Okay, 
Now, if I want to come out from this directory, then I will use cd space dot dot. Okay. Now check the present working directory. Currently, I'm in the EC2 user directory, then cd space Azure. cd command is used to change the directory. You can go inside the directory or you can come out from the directory also by using this cd command. All right. Next one. How to create a file along with the data? Okay, we used a touch command, which is used to create empty files. How to create a file with data? For that, we can use cat command, cat arrow f1.txt. So this arrow is going to represent write operation. Arrow, single arrow, I'm writing. Cat arrow f1.txt. It is asking me to enter the data. This is f1 file data. This is f1 file data. Then press control D to save the data and close the file. Now I can use the same cat command with the file name to print the data in the file. Cat space file name, which is printing the data in the file. If you want to append the data to the same file, then you can use cat double arrow f1.txt. Remember, when you use a single arrow, it will overwrite the old data. Only latest data will be available when you use single arrow. Cat space file name, it is used to print the data available in the file. If you want to append the data to the existing file, then you can use cat double arrow. This is second line. Okay, control D. Now you can see cat space f1.txt, two lines of data is available. Previous line is available and a new line is also available. Because we are using this double arrow, which will represent data appending. Suppose if I use single arrow with the f1.txt, let me write it. This is third line. Okay, then control D. I'm using single arrow. Let's print the data available in the file. Only this third line is available. The previous two lines data is not available. So this single arrow is going to override the old data. Double arrow is used to append the data cat space file name, which will print the data available in the file. Okay, now cat double arrow f1.txt. One, two, three, something like that. You can write the data. Cat space f1.txt. File data, it is printed. I want to print the file data along with the line numbers also. To print the data along with the line number, we can use cat space hyphen n space file name f1.txt. Now the file data will be printed along with the line numbers. I hope you understood what is the purpose of cat command in the libraries. Cat command we can use for three requirements guys. By using cat command, we can create a file with the data by using the single arrow. We can use cat command to append the data to the file by using double arrow. And we can use a cat command to print the data available in the file. And we can print the data available in the file along with the line numbers by using this cat command. And we by using this cat command, you can copy one or more files data into another file. So F1 file, F2 files data, I want to copy to the F3 file. That also can be done by using this cat command. When you use cat command, it will print the data from the top to bottom, f1.txt. All the data it is printing from top to bottom. If you want to print the data from bottom to top, then you can use reverse of cat, which is a tag. Tag f1.txt, which will print the data from bottom to top. Cat will print from top to bottom and the tag will print from bottom to top. So similarly, we can use rev command, which is used to reverse each line of data. So if you use rev command, which is going to reverse each line of data available in the file. And if you want to copy the data from one file to another file, then you can use cp command, ls-l. F1 file is available, cat f1.txt and cat f2.txt. In the F2 file, there is no data available. Okay, now I want to copy the data from F1 file to F3 file. Then you can see cat f1.txt data is available. Copy this data into new file called F3. 
there is a new there is no new file with the name called f3 then cp f1.txt space f3.txt then we have done this okay ls hyphen l with the f1 i have created f3 then go to that file and print the content cat f3.txt so whatever the data which is available in the f1 is copied to f3 so if you want to copy the data from one file to another file then you can use cp command what is the syntax we are using for the cp command cp space what is the file name that is file 1 and what is the file 2 file 1 data i want to copy to file 2 if file 2 is not available it will create the file and it will copy one file data if you want to copy to another file then cp command if you want to copy more than one file data to the third file then you can use this cat command like this okay then next one we can use one command called wc command which is word count wc f1.txt when you execute this command it will display how many lines available how many words available how many characters available in the given file number of lines number of words number of characters available in the file for that we can use wc command all right i hope you understood what are the commands that we have used here so we discussed about ls command to list the content mkdir to make the directory rmdir to remove the empty directories and ls command with several arguments touch command to create empty files rm command to delete files and non empty directories mb command to rename the files or to move the files from one location to another location cat command to create file with data or to append the data to the file and to print the file data cp command to copy the data from one file to another file thank you guys thanks for watching this